thing. Uh, quick video. I was deciding to do a lot of little shorts on building this forge. I found this old hibachi grill. Let me get right into it. And uh, knock a little screws that hold these off and uh, these legs ground those off. Anyway, I'm planning on making a fire pot. This will be a liner to my fire pot from my forge. You can still find these old hibachi grills. These things they sell me like uh, Target or somewhere. They're, they're, you can see them. They're on Amazon. They're cheap. And you can find them at yard sales or Goodwill. I found this one at Goodwill. It's been in the shed for years and I've never been to make a, cook a steak on it. So I'm going to use it for a liner for a grill. I mean, uh, use it for a liner for my forge. Like I said so far, legs off. Make little cardboard templates to fit the sides. See how big I'm going to need my pieces of plate. This is cast iron, just going to be a liner. I got some 3 8 plate. I'm going to lay these on top of there. I got this one. I need to make it a little bit bigger. But, uh, make it where I can drop this down into it. I'll probably cut a hole in it somewhere or another. Probably drill a bunch of holes till they connect and that slug comes out. I gotta put a cap on the bottom. I haven't cut that pattern yet. Cut a piece of cardboard to make my outside bottom. And then on the inside, of course, it's gonna have the hole. And I may put another piece of plate inside to line this bottom, I'm not sure yet. But for right now, that's what I have. That's what I'm doing. If any of you guys or girls knows uh, anybody's done this before, put something in the comment box and stop me before I get too expensive. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Like I said, this is only part one. Stay tuned. I'll try to have this forge built in the next few weeks. This is Mo Dammit. Tire Creek Iron Works out.